Hey, good morning, friends. My name's Annette with Sunbeam Fabric Art. Welcome to my channel. I purchased this wedding dress for $25 at a thrift store not too long ago. I love a challenge and I wanted to make a beautiful quilt with this wedding dress fabric as the base of the quilt. I did check the label before I purchased this dress. It is a polyester fabric, so I believe that it can be washed, but we're gonna make a test block today and see what happens. To make my test block, I cut away a piece of the skirt, and then I just picked some random fabrics from my stash, and I am going to cut some strips out of these random fabrics. Since this is a test block, I am not measuring. I am not worrying about uneven edges. I am just taking my scissors, cutting some strips, and we're just gonna move forward making a crazy quilt block in a quilt as you go method. To start off my crazy quilt block, I want a five-sided shape. So that is what you see me cutting out here. And then I used a ruler and a cutting mat to straighten out the edges of this five-sided shape. Since I had the ruler and cutting mat handy, I went ahead and used those to cut approximately two, two and a half inch strips out of the bottom of this skirt. You can see that lace at the bottom is quite dirty. I'm not worried about that yet because the part of the test is to see if when I put this test quilt in the washing machine, does the dirt wash out okay. There were some tiny, tiny beads in the bottom of the skirt. And as I cut thread, some of those beads came undone. Um, I just got myself a little dish and started saving those. I don't know if I'll do anything with those or end up throwing them away, but I thought, oh, I'll just hold on to them for now. With plenty of strips cut out, I cut out a nice piece of batting that I thought would be easy to work with. Next, I grabbed some of this vintage fabric or vintage looking fabric from my stash and I cut out enough of that to cover the batting. With that done, it was time to start building my crazy quilt block. So I've got the backing face down, the batting on top of the backing, and I'm going to start with my five-sided shape from the wedding dress. I am going to be adding strips of fabric on all five sides of this five-sided shape. I'm placing new fabrics right sides together with old fabrics. After I sew on one strip, I do take the time to trim all the thread away. Then I simply finger press that seam open and I add another strip.
once the first five strips were completed then on the second round going around that five-sided shape I started adding in some of the wedding dress fabric strips I continued going around the five sides adding pieces until the entire rectangle was covered up and here is a look after trimming of this rectangle this is a quilt as you go type of project and now all I have to do is bind my little mini quilt Now I'm not teaching binding today in this video. I will leave a couple of links in the description though for some quilt finishing videos that I've done that actually talk about my binding in detail. Once I had the binding all stitched to the back, I flipped it around to the front, put clips in it, and then stitched it down to the front. And here is my little finished mini quilt. It's very beautiful. I just love it. Wouldn't it make a cute little doll blanket? But the true test is next. Will this project hold up to being washed in the washing machine and dried on a low setting? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. I actually used a high speed wash setting just to see what would happen. Uh, the only thing that happened was it sat in the dryer overnight and there was a little bump in it where it was folded. With this test complete and done well, I'm going to move ahead with a couple of sampler quilt alongs with a wedding dress. Hit that bell icon and you'll get notified when I post new content. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you back again real soon.